welcome to another vlog. Me and Aaron made it out to the outskirts of Odessa. There is a destination that we wanted to visit. It's the Odessa Catacombs. It's a labyrinth of like 2,500 kilometers, yes, kilometers of uh, little tunnels and trails underground. Um, we're about to get a little excursion. тысячи километров и катакомбы идут три яруса три этажа зимой и летом 12-14 градусов тепла ну и очень большая влажность в катакомбах 96 процентов влажность guys said there's three levels of catacombs here and the deepest we're ever going to be here is 16 meters underground and typically it's about 12 to 14 meters I'm gonna try to translate as I go, so hopefully that works out. We're about half an hour away from Odessa, so if we enter the catacombs, we could end up back in Odessa. It's insane. This is the kitchen. So it's proper dark in here. I'm trying to light the best way so I can walk, but it's very easy to get lost. What are you thinking, Aaron? <laughs> it's dark down here. Eh? I'll be lost without your torch. Okay, guys, this is the female um, sleeping quarters. They had their separate rooms, they had a mirror there. Now this is all a guided tour, but the catacombs really are like almost 3,000 kilometers long. People do get lost, and if you stray away, you might take days to find you. Сидели в катакомбах, а на поверхность выводили антенну и кабель. This is the office of the commander. There's a Soviet flag hanging up. This is the uh, gun storage units here. Look at all these materials, gas masks. Motokimoto. These are the barricades where they would sit behind and shoot um, at the invaders. The tour guide said that they, um, they started hallucinating because of how quiet it is here, that the uh, uh, soldiers can only sit here for one hour. Guys, check this out. Tunnels go in every which direction. The tour guide says that it's like 100% humidity here, so they have to find a special way to dry all of the, uh, all of the clothes here. So this is the um, this is the well, and apparently there's a landowner that still uses the water um, that is come from this well to water his plants. During the war, they used this uh, room here as a bomb shelter for women and children. There's the uh, abacus where they could learn mathematics, and the. Uh, chalkboard with Cyrillic written on it. Since it's so humid here, you can't really um, you can't really heal and your wounds deteriorate and they start to get more infected. So for the um, for the partisans, they would take them um, upstairs into the attics of local um, residents here in this village and then they could heal over there. So we're only able to walk around like maybe a less than a kilometer of these uh, um, catacombs, but there's many more that are still um, unfound. And it's kind of insane how many um, miles of labyrinths there are here. I think we're going back up. 
We just got out of the catacombs with this little museum they have here. All right, guys. We just left the um, left the catacombs. It was quite a uh, pretty cool experience. We were there for about an hour. Yeah, it was good. Great experience. Yeah, and this is his idea. We were trying to go to the fortress, but uh... right. Well, we're waiting uh, for the uh, mini bus to take us back to Odessa. This is the little uh, little village here uh, in the middle of nowhere. All right guys, we just showed up back at the Airbnb for a few hours and we headed down to one of Odessa's popular beaches. It's Langeron Beach. Uh, we're on the coast of the Black Sea. Uh, probably gonna get some food, hang out here for a little bit. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the Black Sea in Odessa. It's the closest beach to Odessa city center. So if uh, you're watching this vlog and you've never been to Odessa and you want to come here, um, the easiest way I would say is either to get an Uber or a taxi. Uh, but the proximity is a really big factor. Uh, we're about to find a nice little cafe because uh, we haven't had any dinner um, all day. But it's nice being back at the Black Sea. Uh, it's been many, many years since I've been. Walking out to the little pier here get a better view of all the beaches in Odessa. You can see, as far as the eye can see, hopefully I don't fall into the here. It brings me back to my childhood days when we would uh, vacation on the Black Sea. You go out onto these piers, dive out into the water. And the other beaches from Odessa are further down around that corner, the more popular ones from what I'm told. Well, we stopped off at this uh, local beach restaurant here, ordered some meats, of course some salad, some Ukrainian salad, and some beer. Horseradish again. Yeah, man. You don't like horseradish? I so. <laughs> he doesn't like spicy foods, guys. Got some nice pork kebabs and some pita bread. Yeah, today's been a fun day. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of scattered. We were in the catacombs earlier. But that was a lot of fun. Uh, and today we're just hanging around Odessa. Tomorrow I have one more day in the city. I know we're probably going to go back to the beach. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here for more adventures from Ukraine and Europe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.